Hello everyone, my name is T.S. Peter and welcome back to Bridgecraft. This is episode 9, I want to say, yep, 9. So, what are we doing today? Well, as you've just seen from that clip, I have a couple of pieces of netherite gear now. It's, uh, yeah, I've, it's, it's gone quickly. From, straight from all iron to diamonds, but I did sit on iron for a long while. Okay, so as you might have seen from last episode, we have our new house. It is built behind these trees here. And I kind of want to pretty up this area a little bit. I mean, we've got the sheep farm here. I might try and hide this a bit behind some azaleas or something. We've also built this new pumpkin farm here because spooky season is upon us. And we do require decorations. So this is just running all the time when I'm in the area. It's not spectacular, it's not huge. I've seen ones before that cause massive server lag because of how stupidly big they are. Uh, we didn't need that, we just need enough decoration for a few people. But yeah, I want to turn this place, this lovely starter area of ours, into a lovely little ma uh, mangrove. No, it's just a lovely little grove. Block off all over there with azalea trees. Put some more azalea trees around here. Nature it up. Because realistically, we're slowly but surely moving out the area. Only to over there. But other than coming over here to use all the smelting things. Uh, we're not really coming over here anymore. So I'm currently just smelting up a bunch of stone. I'm going to try and do something I did before I started playing Minecraft on YouTube. Uh, when I just played it on my own on other servers. Uh, I'm going to try and make some rocks. Also gonna, as you can see, we've taken down the uh, to-do list because it needs rehashing. We've done half of it, so it's time to add more stuff to do. It seems as we are not going to get the result done. Well, we can get it done like soon-ish, I guess, but not immediately. So yeah, I'm going to try and pretty up our starter area. Make it look nice and cute. Kind of really in contrast to this build here. Which is very modern. Very, um... Very typical of... Sort of more... I've torn out large chunks of the land to put a house here. Whereas that, I've tried to sort of follow the natural layer of the land. I've done a little bit of terraforming, obviously to fit in machines, but I've like buried everything under mountains or underground. We've tried to keep our starter area... Why am I going down here for the bed? Uh, I've tried to keep the starter area as natural as possible. Whereas the goal with this is we try and integrate a bit with nature, but obviously nature has to get out of the way for a resort. Come on. Is it not bedtime yet? I'm still not sure on this wall. I'll see how I feel. I might replace it with wood or something. A bit more natural but at the end of the day i don't really spend a huge amount of time in this house at the moment because i'm still operating out of the tree house primarily uh, i need to move all of my stuff over still but I'll, I'll still leave all these farms over here they just won't get loaded as much like if i need a bunch of wool or something i'll have to come an afk over here but that's fine just leave myself logged in while I take the dog out for a walk or whatever. Right, so shall we... Uh, watch, wait, what do we think? Do we think over here? I think a nice line of azalea trees over here. Just to create a natural barrier. This mountain creates a natural barrier. Hello, bees. Obviously, I do want to try and hide the sheep farm. It's the least natural thing in the area. Pumpkin farm fits in. Not terribly. Yeah, that's still enough grass. That's Oh, hmm. That sheep can't eat. Hmm. I hope that's not moss under there. Oh, it is. Whoops. My mistake. Uh, have this piece of dirt here. Thank you. It's going to be fun. Nope. Okay, never mind. Sheep's, sheep's gone. Oh, no, this is going to have ruined everything. Uh, I need to go get a lead. Ugh. 
Okay, yeah, learn your lesson. Don't go um, digging holes under the sheep. Don't go bone mealing moss too close to the sheep farm, or it will turn the grass into moss. I hoped it wouldn't, but I clearly didn't hope hard enough. Need on you, my inventory. Right, my invent, my inventory. That's a strange way of saying it. My inventory is full of uh, stone stuff. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna build some rocks. If I had a silk touch axe, we'd probably be building some mushrooms too, but I don't, so. Do I have a silk touch shovel? I could go and get some mycelium to plant mushrooms outside. The rest of you are all okay. Yep, yep, you're all stood on grass. That's fine. Oh. Got his wool back. Uh right, I need that piece of dirt in there. Oh, I don't have oh no, I broke the glass. Um sod. Fine, do you know what? You're going to have to go in there with a temporary piece of cobblestone for now. Come on, this way. This way, my child. Come on, in your hole. Oh, I forget how bad it is trying to manipulate animals in this game. There we go. Right, I'm just going to have to quickly run and get some grass. I need to go down and get the minecart to move again as well. Oh, no, it's still going. Well, I never. All right, let's plop that back. I need to check on the shears in there as well. God, we're not doing very well in terms of building stuff so far. So far, I've broke a sheep farm. But right, I'm going to go fix stuff. Then I'm going to start on this project. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done just a few rocks here and there. I've put a big one over there. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this one. I feel I might need to... Actually add a bit up here, let's do that. Still not illumination, good. So it's, uh, it's about blending different types of block to get the feel right. Like that. Yeah, that's a bit better. So it just doesn't doesn't just have a flat top. Feels like a big stone outcropping now, as opposed to a well, whatever it felt like before. Uh, oh, it's very dark now. Let's hop up to the treehouse. I've also just plonked a bunch of trees. So a bunch of azaleas uh, over here. Looks a bit more like a, a miniature forest now, as opposed to just a little. Cops of trees around a pool. It's looking a bit nicer. Harder to spot the sheep farm now. You can sort of see it from up here still. But yeah, it uh, looks a bit better. There's a zombie in the tree light. Where's my bow? There's my bow. Yeah, obviously, like you can still see it from ground level over here. That'll That'd be unchangeable, short of wrapping the entire thing in leaves. Which I could do, but I'd have to put a lot of work into making it look nice. Ooh, level 25. Not to bad. Ooh, my pumpkins are escaping my farm. To be fair, that's an inevitability at some point. Just from the way that pistons break pumpkins. Yeah, I could wrap it in leaves, make it look like a big hedge. But given that there's a lack of other uh, hedge action going on around here, it wouldn't make much sense aesthetically. So I'm not going to. But yeah, we've got to pretty up the area a little bit. Just a couple little rocks, just as uh, little interesting extra features. Nothing spectacular. But still. I'm not sure I understand. God damn it, Siri. But yes, yeah, very nice uh, little starter area improvements. Oh, actually, bone meal this one up here. Yeah, there we go. Already got some rooted dirt and stuff up here. Actually, think about it, I ought to add an extra thing on here 
for um, lingering potions, but uh, I can't be bothered. I might rebuild this machine, like a bigger option for it, or a bigger ver version for it, because you can adapt it um, to take other... You, the, you can adapt it so that instead of just putting your ingredients in here, you can have an entire bank of droppers that um, it will... You can just select what type of potion you want in it. So say you have like sugar in this one, uh, magma cream in this one, blaze powder, etc, etc, etc. This is very long. Uh, I don't think I'll go for that full one, but this does need adapting to fit the new, well, the newer than this machine's modifier potions in there. More pumpkins. I'm harvesting these ones as well, just because, you know, spooky season. Oh, I can't wait to play some spooky games. Just need uh, people to get back to me on what they want to play. There's certain things. And obviously get a stream schedule back together over on twitch.tv slash Burrage and Tom. We will be playing spooky games for the spooky month. But yes. Oh, ah, I'm, I'm going to show you something I did. I spent a lot of time working on this project. I might put together a time lapse and just release it as a separate video because the time lapse is is going to be long, even at like 10 times speed. I made this. It is a map of the Nether Rail network. Uh, each station's got its own variant with the you are here pin as well as a um, you are here pinless version for just carrying around in your hand it's obviously styled off the london tube map got a giant spawn station and then other little stations along the lines i've added an extra line just in case we decide to do something extra out in that direction who knows who knows what the future holds i sure as hell don't um so i'll, I'll go show you where i built this let's go okay <clears throat> here we go. We are here at the map. The colossal project that I spent lots and lots of hours on. Here we go. Let's pop this in the offhand and load it all in for you. Bam. This took me about seven hours to do, including the pouring of lava over the ocean to make a giant platform. And dragging snowmen back and forth to cover it in snow. I did originally have... I, well, I still got a snowman over there. Um, I did in initially think, oh, I'm just going to make snow layers and cover it myself. Yeah, nah. I was so glad I didn't do that. But yeah, we've got uh, a nice big canvas. It's... Uh, I did misspell shortix here. It should be two T's, not one. So I need to shift all this over. I need to completely tear out the name and rebuild it. But that shouldn't be too much of a pain. It's mainly just uh, going through and replacing all the maps. So that'll be version 1.1 when I get round to it. But yeah, so we've got, uh, we've got all the lines marked out now. I still need to go and add the purple into the main station. The main station is now also built, well, the spawn station's built. I've got a sort of mini station set up for the mini games area. There will be mini games soon, TM. Um, obviously, Mount Burridge, where Burridge lives. I don't know if that's what he's actually called it, but I thought it sounded cool on, on the tube map. Basically, but yeah, it was it was a good project. Watched um, watched both Now You See Me's while uh, while doing it. But, oh God, what, what a load of effort. And I don't think anyone's been on the server since I've done it, so no one's actually seen the in-game version of it, which is kind of sad, but... Oh, in fact, I'm going to go, I'm going to go fix the name now. Uh, I'll be back when that is done. Okay, there we go. Version 1.1 of the map with an updated name. 
Fantastic. Let's make a copy. And I want to... Gee, that's a locked one. It's annoying that you can't unlock a map. I'm going to lock this one, and that's going to be the new spawn uh, wall map for the spawn station. So I'm going to go put that in place, uh, and then I'm going to show you what I've done at the spawn station. I'm just going to chuck all the spare stuff in here. And then I'm going to start boating home. Base is this way. Uh, it's north of... Oh, hold on, I've still got one. Yeah, I've still got one. Nice. Yeah, there we go. We'll put that in the spawn station, replacing the spawn map. Uh, other maps can be updated as and when I have the resources, slash can be bothered. But, yes, I'll be back in a moment. Oh, okay, here we go. Version 1.1 on the wall with the updated spelling. It's just at the spawn station. For now. Also, look, I completed the spawn station. We got the start of the extra tunnel here. I need to put the parapet in the walls here and whatever line color. This is going to be probably red, seems as it's already half that. Yeah, I just need to figure out exactly what this way we want to go towards. Ooh, if there's strongholds that way, though, that could be useful. We'll find out, hopefully soon, when uh, anyone actually gets back to me about scheduling streams. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, all the hand maps are still version 1.0, as you can see here. But uh, I just don't have enough uh, maps right now to duplicate a bunch of version 1.1s. It takes a while for new things to propagate anyway, as seen in real transit networks. I think there's still maps on the tube in use today that um, don't have the Elizabeth line on them. Which is a very nice train, by the way. I do like it. But anyway, let's head back to base. Um, I might put this map up on the wall, actually. I know it's slightly out of date. I just, oh, there's something about the tube map. The, any tube style map that looks really good. Uh, actually, good video about the tube map. Jay Foreman's newest unfinished London video as of October this year. As of early October 2022. Fantastic video. Very good explanation of why the London tube map looks like it is today. But the whole unfinished London series is just great. It's taken... It, 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 they come out so infrequently, though, that by the time uh, Jay actually finishes the series, London will actually be finished. At least that's the joke, the running joke. But yeah, I appreciate a good uh, informative video on infrastructure around cities because I'm a nerd. And I've played way, way, way too much City Skylines. Speaking of which, been considering a series on that, but we'll f uh, I'll decide later. It'd have to be like a, a proper playthrough, which I don't tend to do. I just tend to build with unlimited money. But it could be fun. New challenge. Anyway, let's go and pop this on the wall in my bedroom. Because it looks nice. I have considered maybe uh, once I've got the map as finished as I can get it. It's so like once the new line's in place and the stations are on there. Uh, locking all the maps and then tearing it all down and replacing it with something new. Hey, hold on, is this is this another one? Ah, this is another unlocked one. That one's not updated though. That's like the the master map. Oh yeah, also, f oh yeah, I'm fishing rod mending. That was start of last video. What am I looking for? Uh, item frame. That's it. Misc items. Here we go. Yeah, the storage room's quite big. Um, you've got overflow barrels down here, obviously. You might have seen in the last video. Also, I have forgot to tell anyone, but I've got an egg farm over there by all my furnaces. Uh, it's very efficient, though. All, it's full of eggs all the time. Mm, let's pop this up on the wall up here. Bam, there we go. I'll find a better place for it, but I like it. It looks nice. I could do other art on the map. We shall have to see. Oh, it's getting, getting to night time. I have to figure out what I can fit in a 8 chunk by 8 chunk 
upgrade. So that's eight times sixteen. Several numbers. I'll do the math on how big it is, and then maybe I'll come up with some concept art or something. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to go and figure out what else I need to do today. So I will be back in a moment. Ooh. Okay, so... Oh, hello, boy. Why is it with these people tearing up when I'm starting to record a clip again? Go away. I've figured out what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a book, and I'm going to make a to-do list. A new one. A new do. New new to-do? New... new, new to yeah, new to new to do. Oh, I could go fight a raid actually. Hmm, you still there? Yeah, you still there. Fine. Do you know what? Let's go. We'll fight a raid, I think. <clears throat> I've got some potions. I've got some stuff. We can definitely fight a raid. But first, I'm going to go uh, get some ink, get a feather, get a book, make a new to do list. Right, there's that one. Do I have any feathers? I'm going to guess I don't. In which case... Oh, no, I do. Oh, fantastic. Right, throw together a book. Just like that. To-do list. Um. <clears throat> right, let's do, like, the overarching ones here. Main base build. Uh, what else have we got? I want... I want to make a bee farm. Uh, no, not a hiney. Why, why is my ability to type just non-existent? Honey slash farm. Um, what else do I need? Make. Oh yeah, make a mini game. I have an idea for a sort of parkour style thing going on. Um, what else can I make? What what other automate? I want to make a coke beam farm. Don't ask me why. Uh, actually, it's for dyes. Not so sure what I'm going to do with a ton of brown dye other than put it in a shop. But put it in a shop, I guess. Um, improve spawn. Six. I want to. Uh, I want to build a path and entrance. Path and gateway for see for siege supply. Right, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a uh, main base to do. Which I'm gonna make that all capital. Like that. Uh one is the main hotel. Two is the restaurant. That's not how you spell any of those words. I don't know if that's how you spell restaurant, but restaurant. I have no idea. Uh, I'm just going to put it like that. For now, I'll, I'll correct it if it's wrong. Or I won't if I forget. Um, what else do I want? Main hotel, restaurant, uh, beach huts. Why is that the only one I bothered capitalizing? Four is uh, walkways. Five. Some of these have got commas instead of decimal points. This to-do list is looking like a mess. Uh, what else is there? Beach huts, walkways, uh, entertainment. Six is the key. Slash uh, docks. Seven is dead. Decor. Right, well, we'll leave it at that for now. And uh, I'm going to pop these in here. And I'm going to pop that in here just so I don't lose it. I don't really need a shovel or an axe. All my pickaxes, really, for this fight. So I'm going to. Pop them somewhere safe. I'm going to go grab some potions. 
fact, I can go, I'm just going to do something kind of odd and pop my gear, except for these bits. In the oi, go away. Shot. But still, go away. A crossbow. Half life weapon. Right, what do we want? We want strength. This night vision, not really useful. Visibility, not really useful. Slowness, slow falling, water breathing. I'll take some speeds. Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to go grab three golden apples as well, because that's all the golden apples I have. Let's just rearrange our inventory. I'm not, not going to use the notch apples. They're just too valuable. Too valuable. I can make the, the thing banner with them. Oh, wait, they're upstairs, aren't they? They're up in my special chest. Full of special things. There we go. Bonk. None of that's really useful to me. Nope, I've got sharpness four, fire aspect two, sweeping edge three, unbreaking three. Should be sufficient. Sun is getting real low. I might wait around and sleep first and then go and do this fight. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna wait around and sleep, so I will join you when the sun has risen. The sun has risen. I've grabbed the bell as well so I can find them easier. Ouch, didn't mean to do that. How are my boots doing? 235 durability. They're the like the sketchiest of all my ones. Hence, I made them netherite. I've uh, I've chucked some fuel in here. It's a lava bucket. Hence, there's so so much duration left. It really I chose to do the singular bamboo in there. Yeah, we're running low on bamboo in parts of this machine. I think the thing is because I use these two regularly and this one less often. I heard that. The bamboo machine works. This machine works. The chicken machine is never ending. Might just have to get rid of all the chickens in it soon. Or reduce the number at least. I think there's like eight or nine chickens in there. So no wonder it's busy. They lay once a day. And I uh, I spend a lot of time in this area. Right, let's go. Let's head up to our village up here. I did see there was a couple of iron golems wandering around, so we'll have a bit of backup. But this is going to be a, a fun fight. This is the first time I've done a raid on this server. Obviously done raids before, but normally by the point I do them, I have uh, quite overpowered gear. Like full netherite. And stuff, and an elytra, which makes it a lot easier to get around. So here we go, we're approaching the village. Raid went. There we go, there's the raid. Right, so I'm going to go to the centre of the village. This terrain's going to be a bit fun. They're hiding indoors, can't say I blame them. Good choice, sir, good choice. There's our golem. Did I just hear a goat horn? There they are. Right, here's our first wave. Goodness gracious, that, that, that totem going off scared the hell out of me. Quick, grab all my stuff, grab all my stuff, grab all my stuff. Ow! Thank <laughs> you. 
I've got some spare totems. It wasn't all a loss. Anyway. Uh, let me just check. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hello. Good job I didn't just go a five mode and start doing an outro then, wasn't it? Oh, look at that. I've got a bad omen again. Fantastic. Just what I want. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you see and you want to see more, there is a subscribe button down below. That means you will get these videos straight to your inbox, provided YouTube's working properly. There's never no knowing. Uh, if you want to be notified when I go live, please do hit the bell. When I go live? No, when I release new videos. Going live on Twitch. Silly me. There we go. Hop across there. It's very hard to know where you're going when you're doing this. Uh, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.